show. Greg from Grant, Alabama has concern about a mogul drive. <laughs> it's his 16-year-old asphalt driveway. Just look at this thing. I've seen like, him worse, but I understand. Yeah, exactly. He's, Greg writes, over time, tree roots in several areas have buckled my driveway, and I assume the only repair or the answer is to remove the buckled sections and install new asphalt. Any advice and guidance in addressing these issues for him, Tom? No, it's exactly what you do. Now, in Houston, where the show's based, where we are, we don't see a lot of asphalt, but I can remember being in South Florida where all the driveways were asphalt and you would recoat them every year and protect them from the weather. And if you don't protect them from the weather, it'll be more than tree roots. They'll crack and they'll do all kinds of things without any tree roots. So I'm not gonna say it's just tree roots doing this, but they're gonna have to scrape the top and re-asphalt the whole thing. Uh, and he's just gonna have to find someone local in his area that does that. They'll go through the process. I'm sure if they're very popular out there in Alabama, that there's several companies that do this on a regular basis because he's not alone in his issue. A lot of people ignore it and just drive down and forget about it. But if you want it nice and, and, and smooth and everything, they have to be maintained quite a bit. And that also means having them at least every couple of years resealed and recoated and uh, if you don't do that, it'll start to dry out. Then the weather will start to make it pucker and crack and raise. And it looks just like that. I know my grandfather's looked like that when I was in South Florida. Yeah, because it's, it's like you're saying that, that the heat will cook them and they'll expand, they'll contract. And, yeah, and, and maybe, they'll get these puckers in them, you know, right, and that's puckers. what he's got, his moguls. That's the, that's, the, that's the technical term, friends, puckers. Yes, yeah, especially when the water gets in it. That's why you got to keep them sealed to keep the water from getting into the asphalt. Which is different from frost heaves. We used to get those in that kind of road That's when I different. grew up in New England. A frost heave will come up underneath there and all that. So yeah. you're saying, though, if he seals it, you know, if he goes through and seals that thing and maintains it, it'll fight that a lot? It'll, I think it'll, it'll lessen last that a lot problem? longer. It's a, it'll last a lot longer. But here you got to realize that doing that every year, if he, his looks pretty big. I'm just looking at it. It's like a very rural road. Uh, to do that is going to be expensive every couple of three, four years. So he might just want to live it out and see <laughs> how long it'll take to be done again. Because this is not a little driveway like in a subdivision. This is, you can tell by the picture, it's pretty long. Yeah, this is, let, leave, it, leave it for your grandkids to take care of. It's called All a right. road, a small right. road. <laughs> Click on the blue ask Tom button at homeshowradio.com. Fill out that form. Send us your pictures. Send us your drawings. Send us anything, even video. We will look at it because Tom likes to answer your questions. He asks us to put one of these up every day, don't you, Tom? Yes, I got I a call do. from. I got a call just the other day, Charlie. You put them up every day. Yes, every I am, day. Tom. In fact, Tom, I'm not just putting them up. I'm putting them up on our website, on Facebook, and our YouTube channel. And if you want to make Tom happy, what you can do is watch one of our videos on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. 